My name is Omar Aziz. I graduated from Bauer in 2010. Um, I currently work for Philips 66 company, uh, formerly ConocoPhillips, and I'm a financial analyst there. My name is uh, Barbara Simo Kemonye. I graduated in 2010, fall semester, with my master's in accountancy. I currently work with Ernst & Young as a senior in the assurance practice. Hi, my name is Michael Newman. I am a clinical professor at the C.T. Bauer College of Business. I'm also director of accounting programs. I've been teaching here for about 13 years, and prior to that, I was in business for 30 years. Back in 2002, a little law called Sarbanes-Oxley changed the rules. Now, as a student, your job coming to school is not, believe it or not, to get an education, although that's part of it. Your job is to get a job. Sarbanes-Oxley created jobs for accounting majors. So accounting is no longer just a major, it's actually a skill set. Accounting definitely pushes you to work really hard and it's, it definitely brings the best out of you and you learn a great ton of, uh, of knowledge and business um, uh, skills. Another reason would be just being able to understand the language of business. With an accounting major, with an accounting background, you could either go in and work for uh, one of the big four accounting firms or a Fortune 500 company, or if you go into uh, starting your own business. It's very critical to know how, uh, you know, uh, to separate, say, cash flow from net income and know how those things work. Accounting is the mean that all companies use to record their financial performance, their systems, and internal processes. And being an accountant, you get the chance to be in the middle of all of the transaction, understand what's happening in the business and how the company uh, generates value. And that being said, if all companies are using accounting to track their performances, it means that it's a lot of career opportunities for somebody that is choosing an accounting major. If you have an education in accounting, you will be able to read and understand financial statements for credit purposes and for other areas in sales. And again, if you want to go into management, you better understand financials because if you go up high enough, you're going to have to sign off on them. Basically because you need to know how a business operates. So operationally, if you know they're strong, um, and the only way you know that is through knowing the details, the nitty gritty, and accounting teaches you all that. In accounting, you know, intermediate one, intermediate two, you, you get great foundations, um, you know, you learn how you know, debits and credits work and how each statement works. But being able to understand how all that ties into each other, how does uh, you know, cash flow tie into the balance sheet? How does net income differ from cash flow from operations? And those differences could help you understand how um, the business is actually operating. We know that accounting is something practical, but at the same time, what you learn in school is going to be very useful when you get in the real world. As in any field, accounting is, is no different. You better learn what you need to know. You better apply what you need to know, and you better spend the time doing it. In any area that you're going to do accounting in, they're going to be hiring you for your work ethic and for your skill sets. So keeping up your skill sets, keeping up a, GP, a good GPA, 3.5, by the way, is the minimum you should look at no matter what field you go into. But keeping up a good GPA, then keeping up your education afterwards, and working hard are really all that you need to be successful as an accountant, as an accounting major. If you do decide to go into accounting, there are several, there are several tracks you can take. If you want to get a job as an internal auditor, we are a center of excellence. Uh, that is really significant because there's only a handful in the world out of thousands and thousands of uh, universities that are classified as centers of excellence. We are one of them. And there are, because again, Sarbanes-Oxley, there are a lot of jobs for internal auditors. We also have a track that will fast track you to becoming a CPA by getting your master's in accountancy. And in that track, in that, in that degree, we have a number of, of specialties as well. We have an audit specialty if you want to work for a CPA firm. We have a tax specialty. We have a financial accounting specialty. We have an internal audit specialty. We have a risk uh, specialty and an oil and gas specialty. All of these are designed to make you the best accountant possible or the best CEO possible uh, within these different areas. One of the specializations is the oil and gas certificate. I think that's a, a great way to go, especially since we're in the energy capital of the world and you have you know, uh, so many different energy companies that require special accounting 
uh, knowledge and oil and gas accounting is quite different. Somebody can go into public accounting where they can do assurance services like auditing companies or getting into the consulting uh, side of the business. I would definitely uh, recommend or you know uh, tell students that are going into accounting uh, to, to avoid cramming. Cramming could really you know, it works in some cases, but in accounting, you have to definitely understand the concepts, understand how to uh, work through an entire problem. So I think uh, cramming is one of the things that I would, you know, ask students not to do with accounting. You definitely got to give your, your time with these courses. It's a, it's a challenging program, and I think, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely what you put in is what you get out. Something else that they should avoid is um, to be too general. Accounting is really practical, so you don't want to have just a broad range of major or not really specify which major or what is your end goal. So the, it would be good to be really specific. The skills critical for accounting majors are uh, being analytical. I think being able to understand, um, you know, how things uh, tie into each other and what ratios make sense. Uh, you know, you have your leverage ratios, you have your liquidity ratios, and how they make sense. So I think being able to understand that and put it into the bigger picture is very critical for accounting majors. Some skills that are critical for an accounting major are um, leadership skills, uh, writing and communication skills, and also, I want to say social skills. An accounting major student needs to be likable and respectful, somebody that knows how to behave in a social life. Some of the misconceptions that we have about accountants or accounting is that they would not really interact much with other people, which is really not true. Once you make up your mind to become an accounting major, and again, an accounting major is a skill set from my point of view. What you're looking at is what are you going to do for your bachelor's so that you have a jumping, a jumping point to move on with what you're doing. Number one thing is your job here is to get a job. So the number one thing you want to do as an accounting major, and especially as an accounting major, is maintain a 3.5 GPA. That means getting good study habits. That means learning how to do research. Research involves finding out what your options are in terms of getting help. So these really are critical to being successful as an accountant, not just as a student. Probably the, uh, the most memorable is when I came here from San Diego to get my first uh, master's degree and felt at home. I mean, it was like I was back home. And I've never regretted that decision since. One day we had a session or some kind of seminar or convention in the department where uh, an executive, a director from one of the most reputable accounting firm came down to speak to the students about leadership and how to be themselves and also be really successful in the real world. I met the person a couple of years later and they remembered my name. So I think just being in that uh, environment at Bauer, it made it different. Being at Bauer, you really uh, get to get really great exposure to different cultures. You could be in a, you know, a group project with a person from East, Eastern Europe a person from Pakistan, a person from China, a person from Africa. One of my favorite things about Bauer was the faculty. They were really engaging and they cared about the students. They were able to present the material in a very creative way, which made it more tangible and memorable, something that you can use down uh, the line several years later. My favorite thing about Bauer is the people. I love the students. The students that are here are here because they want to learn. Most students that come here are working, they're working their way through school, they're here because they're hungry, because they want to improve their lives. I want you to have it all, and you can have it all as long as you work hard at it. So you have to work at working and you have to work at living. But if you do all of this, it really is a phenomenal thing, and I do hope all of you all have that.